Myths exist about a lot of things. They always have done. Um, at one time people believed that the earth was flat. They believed that um, the moon was made of green cheese. And people still, even today, they continue to believe that the best way to lose weight is to go on a crash diet. Well, as far as electrical sensitivity is concerned, it's just the same. There is a big myth surrounding electrical sensitivity, and this myth is that exposure to EMF, let's say electromagnetic fields, are the sole and unique cause of electrical sensitivity. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why this is not true, and I'm going to explain to you what the real causes of electrical sensitivity are. So, I believed that um, electric, the, the EMF exposures were the cause of my symptoms for um, a long time, in fact about five years till 2007 approximately, um, because it was so flavor, fragrant, this, this link between my exposure and my, and my reaction. Uh, that's to say I put the cell phone to my ear to talk and uh, I get the pain, uh, take it away, no pain. Same with the computer, sit in front of the computer, get the reaction, move away from the computer, no reaction. And same with TV and lots of other uh, EMF devices. So all this served to reinforce my belief that the problem was uh, electromagnetic fields. Uh, so consequently my way of dealing with this issue was to focus on the EMFs. Uh, that's to say, well, I stopped using my cell phone, for a time I stopped using my computer, um, I bought protective clothing, uh, shielding, netting, um, I read up all I could on uh, electromagnetic fields to understand exactly how they worked, I bought uh, EMF meters uh, and so on and so forth. And despite doing all this, um, I came to realize that my condition was getting no better, in fact it was getting worse. And there were times where I got temporary uh, respites, but it was it was only temporary. And um, pretty much, you know, all the time I got this, uh, I got these aches and pains. I got this reaction, and I got this constant fatigue, uh, which is very difficult to live with. Um, and so, I um, realised that uh, I started to think that there was there was more to my electrical sensitivity than the EMF exposures and I stumbled onto the idea of, of cleansing. Um, the best resource, resource I found on this was uh, the information provided by uh, Dr. Holder Clark, uh, cleansing, the, cleansing, the, the cleansing protocol. And basically the idea, the idea behind cleansing, so um, it's, you know, uh, it's, it, the, uh, our nutritional choices make it so uh, that, you know, uh, we, we all, we all, that's in nearly all, eat a lot of processed and uh, junk foods. And these nutritional choices uh, take a toll on our body because uh, they introduce uh, toxins. And uh, cleansing is a way of flushing out these toxins from your body, say flushing them out from your liver so that your liver is able to, to better filter these, these chemical and other toxins. Um, and so uh, these toxins, the effect is that they get released into your blood system, uh, your bloodstream, and they, they create a myriad of, of, of symptoms. So um, I, uh, I thought this idea of uh, cleansing sounded plausible, uh, so I gave it a try. I ordered uh, a parasite cleanse and a liver cleanse on the, on, on, over the internet. Uh, and it's like a pack of, um, of herbs which uh, of, of different drops and um, tablets which you, which you, which you take. Uh, it actually is in, in capsule form what I took. Uh, so the, the parasite cleanse uh, lasts uh, 10 days usually and you take in three times a day these drops and, and capsules um, and, and then you do the, the liver cleanse, uh, the parasite cleanse is to prepare you for this liver cleanse which lasts 24 hours which is fairly unpleasant um, but the, the, so the liver cleanse consists of a, a concoction of uh, olive oil, 
um, grapefruit juice, fresh grapefruit juice and um, Epsom salts or magnesium sulfate and uh, say you do this over a 24 hours, a 24 hour period and the results were significant, uh, that's to say both in terms of the toxins that I visibly expelled and in terms of the improvement in my condition, that's to see the decrease in my sensitivity. Uh, so I was very pleased. Fortunately, the results were short-lived, did another cleanse, and the, the results were less significant than the, than, than the first time. Um, so it wasn't really the cleanse itself um, that, that sort of that, uh, that brought me a new, a, new, a new awareness on this. It was, it, it, it was a realization that if the cleansing worked, then it couldn't be just my EMF exposures. Uh, and this, this planted the, the seed in my mind that uh, toxins uh, had a role to play. But I didn't realize at this time that toxins uh, are in fact the true cause of electrical sensitivity. This took uh, more time, more research, more experimentation. Um, so clearly, what I'm, I'm not saying that EMF exposure uh, is not important, but what I am saying is it's not the sole and unique cause of electrical uh, sensitivity. And this is, this is a big, uh, a major uh, paradigm shift uh, because you cannot hope to get better on, by uh, minimizing your uh, EMF exposure only because it's not the cause. This is not. <laughs> it's not that simple. And so uh, clearly, to 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 beat electrical sensitivity, you need to deal with all the causes. And this is what I'm going to. Um, this is what I'm going to cover in my next video. Um, that's to say exactly what these toxins are. Uh, and I'll give you a hint. They are not what you think they are, um, and uh, because once we've identified what these toxins are, then we can uh, eliminate them and liberate uh, the causes. And this is the process which underpins uh, beating electrical sensitivity. And this is how uh, you can heal. My name is Lloyd from ElectricSense.com. Thank you for your time.